It's no secret that London's housing market has gone a bit crazy over the past year and Fulham has always been popular. But most of the properties achieving eye-watering prices have a bit more curb appeal than this one. A private entrance with outside space, but ultimately just six garages. Hardly a des res, but snapped up for £700,000 at auction, more than nine times the guide price. Staggering. Someone's, run, someone's won the lottery. Staggering. <laughs> wow. It's really... As a big, garage, yeah. yeah. Shocked. Very shocked. 700000 That's a lot of money. But the auctioneer who sold the plot says he's seeing around 300 potential buyers registering interest in every lot, leading to frenzied buying in the sale room. We knew from the levels of inquiries that we'd had prior to the sale itself that it was going to be spectacular. We had no uh, preconceived idea of the final sale price, but um, this one was just you know, staggering. We had telephone bidders, we had people in the room, we had uh, a multitude of people trying to get involved in it. Of course, there are plenty of other options for those who lost out. This two-bedroom flat in nearby Parsons Green, for example, or a family home in New Southgate. On the cheaper side, there's always a mini castle in the Scottish borders with its own cottage and dovecote thrown in. But estate agents say the development opportunity here would have been its main appeal. The sellers had looked into building a pair of two-bedroom houses on the site, but it doesn't have planning permission. He's taken a bit of a gamble, but if that planning comes through, and let's say he does get planning for two two-bed townhouses, uh, each of which might work out at a thousand square foot. That already, that area already is getting in excess of one thousand pounds per square foot of property. So on those very crude and basic sums, you're already in at two million pounds resale. But these garages are only part of the story. The freehold to this block of flats was bought by the same developer, but somebody else purchased this property for one point nine million pounds. That's a million pounds over the guide price and there's little sign of the market slowing. One agent estimates the value of a three-bedroom house in a prime London location is increasing by more than £700 a day. Little wonder there's a land grab on. Catherine Carpenter, BBC London News.